Hello fellow Voyagers, Jess here with Odyssey Human, here today to talk about what you say goes, period. Welcome to the channel. This is the place where we help you hack through the con jungles of consciousness so that you can discover the hidden treasures inside of you. And my friends, it's all there, ready to be activated by you at any time, particularly in the now moment. So if that feels good to you, if that sounds good to you, please subscribe. We'd love to have you on the channel. Your experience has absolute value. Your experience has absolute value. What does that mean? It means that our experience, so our, our imaginative filter that we put over things, this includes our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, our story, our attention, right? Our attention comes from what our story is. That's what we will pay attention to. How we simulate, we simulate how our day is going to go tomorrow, what it's going to be like, you know, to go on that vacation. We, we're off, we're constantly simulating, you know, what do I need to pick up at the store? We are simulating visuals in our mind's eye, you know, our, this, this, ex, what I call your experience, your whole experience, that is, has absolute value. It has absolute value. Where people get hung up with reality creation is that they often make it conditional, right? They try to trade their behavior for a result. And that result, they feel like, um, validates their experience. So it's like a little feedback loop. And so let's give you an example of if I do my affirmations, if I squeeze my eyes and I robotically affirm then it'll pop into my my sensory reality whatever it is the money the job the partner the career whatever we, we want and then in the having of that object in the arrival of that object in the perception of that object we then feel safe to be the person who has it we then feel legitimate in claiming that in standing and occupying that version of ourselves that we want. We feel legitimate finally in occupying our right to, to, to live out whatever concept of ourselves that we have, that we want, that we're shooting for. And so this feedback loop is, is that's the long way, right? That's the long way to go about it because your experience has absolute value. You can live in your experience in the fullness and completeness of already embodying that truth without the thing being here, without needing that validation, without um, constantly seeking for it or, you know, having it um, show up as sensory data. We're doing this all the time. We're all doing this all the time. This isn't some woo-woo thing where, you know, this is really <laughs> something that we all do all the time. And it changes our world when we do this. You know, we can shortcut the whole process. Uh, trying hard to manifest, waiting for it out there. And then when it comes out there, then we're like, okay, I can now I can be this person. Now I can not being an imposter. This is really about imposter syndrome. Get over the imposter syndrome of being the version of you that you want to be. That's is my my public message today to you. Get over the imposter syndrome. Nobody outside of you can judge you. I mean, they can judge you, they can try to judge you. And unless you agree to that judgment and believe it yourself of like, you're right, I'm not this person, you get to inhabit whatever belief about yourself, you get to inhabit whatever state about yourself that you want to inhabit. And what happens in courageously doing this and letting go of imposter syndrome, because there's, there's nothing outside of you that actually creates, you are generating all of it, right? You're generating the subjective reality that you then believe and live out. You, your behaviors reflect it, your emotions reflect it. Your experience has absolute value. Stop trading it 
to get a token for that token to legitimize where you could have started and ended in the first place at the origin with your experience. Let me give you an example of how the opposite of this happened. I went through EMT school a few years ago. I was top of my class. I did really well. I obtained all my certifications. I became employed by an ambulance company locally. I wore the uniform I was given and I worked as an EMT on an ambulance. Now, despite all of this, I, in my, the appearance, the evidence that I was an EMT, I never inside felt like I was an EMT ever, ever for a second. I constantly felt like an imposter. I was like, somebody's going to find out I'm just a student, like masquerading as an EMT. That's how I felt, right? That was how I felt. And that experience, that experience superseded the evidence that I was an EMT. <laughs> it superseded it. And because of that, because of that, because of that reality, I was creating for myself. I'm not an EMT. I, I, this job makes me nervous. I'm anxious. I don't like working with patients. I just like driving. Like it, it really crafted my world. I created an entire subjective reality out of that truth, as opposed to the truth of I'm an EMT. I'm working as an EMT. I'm wearing the uniform. I'm be doing EMT behaviors. And so it wasn't until I started a few, several months into my experience as an EMT, I started wearing glasses. For some reason, I was just desperately trying to alleviate this feeling that I was not an EMT, despite appearances, right? And so I started wearing glasses because I knew that um, people who wore glasses were perceived as more intelligent, more capable, more educated, and... So that was the vehicle, <laughs> that was the vehicle that I used, the crutch that I used to get over my imposter syndrome. For some reason, when I started wearing those glasses, I felt more confident. I felt more capable. I actually started enjoying my job more. I felt less nervous. And so that's what I used as my vessel to legitimize who I was already being who I was already acting with my body. I was acting, I was doing, I was physically an EMT, but emotionally, mentally, I didn't feel like it. I felt I was a nervous wreck all the time. And those glasses were what I used to bridge the gap out of my imposter syndrome. Do you think the glasses had anything to do with it? No, <laughs> looking back, I didn't, I didn't have to wear, use the glasses. And this is exactly what we're doing when we feel like we're failing at manifesting or reality creation is that we're, we're failing to feel like the EMT where we are succumbing to the imposter syndrome of not feeling like or allowing ourselves to be who we want to be right now, right now, right now without the evidence. We don't we're taking the long road to go wear the glasses just to feel like the person we could have felt like if we had generated it in our experience, if we had really gotten on board with my experience has absolute value. My experience has absolute value. And so that's when the two worlds like aligned. Then internally I felt like an EMT and externally I was an EMT. And that was the full, that was the full circle, right? Then the worlds were aligned. And so this is what I encourage you to do is that your experience has absolute value. You don't have to trade. You don't have to wear the glasses in order to feel like the person. You can shortcut this feedback loop. You can shortcut it because the origin point is your experience. If you feel like you're trying and you're affirming and it's not coming, it's because it's not coming because you don't feel like that person. You're trying, you're in trying mode. You know, you get to occupy your right to be whoever you want to be right now. Occupy your right to do that. Let go 
of the illusion of imposter syndrome. Let go of the illusion of imposter syndrome because it is an illusion. It's ultimately the judge of whether you are that person or aren't that person is you. You are the judge. You're the judge. Nobody else. You are the judge. No one else. So, I know that was helpful for you. Drop a comment below. I'm happy to engage with you. And remember, your experience has absolute value. This is what people don't realize. As the generator, you get to say, like, I am this now. I'm a, I am a millionaire. I am happily married. I am running a successful business. I am an EMT. I am, I am whatever I want to be right now. Right now. And I'm, I'm not saying that you, you know, you should go out and masquerade as a doctor if you haven't gone through the training. What I am saying is you have a right to believe yourself to be that person systemically. Even before the evidence shows up. Right? Some people, you know, going back to the doctor example, some people have a really nurturing nature. Some people are natural healers, you know, and they're embodying that energy. They're doing that now. They are doing that now. They're helping. Or if you're a natural counselor or, or if you're, you know, I never felt like an EMT. I never liked taking responsibility for other people's well-being when I was younger. And so that was an identity I absolutely, I was kicking and screaming to ad adopt. I just, it didn't feel natural to me. And so the moral of the story is that you get to be this, tap into, let go of imposter syndrome and tap into the, your visionary nature of your inner transformation, your inner acceptance to occupy the person that you want to be and the things you want to have right now. Occupy that now. That is your right in consciousness and awareness and perception. You have that right. And think about business owners. They do this all the time. Like I do this in my business constantly. I'm constantly visioning for the future and then behaving towards that. Behaving towards that to legitimize that vision, to make it real, to bring it into my sensory reality. I'm constantly doing that of like, okay, phase four of this project, this is what we're going to do. And then me and my team work towards that. Like that's the vision that we serve. That is the direction that we walk. That is the path that we follow. That is the, that is the thing we are creating in reality. And so you get to do the same thing. Do the same thing. Let go of imposter syndrome. The only judge is you. You got this. Back to my outro. <laughs> outro. Drop a comment below if you'd like to engage. I'm happy to engage with you. And if you need a tool to help you along the way, a good new habit to establish in your mind to bring you more peace of mind, more emotional mastery, grab that in the description box. It is always there. It is always free. Thanks for watching.